quadratic expression. Quadratic expression, right? A x square plus b x plus c. This is the polynomial, right? So the polynomial a x square plus b x plus c is called quadratic expression. So what is the degree here? Two. So it is a quadratic expression where a comma b comma c may be real numbers or complex numbers. We can take any one where a comma b comma c are real or complex numbers. In this a, b, c, a should be not equal to 0. That is, x square coefficient should be not equal to 0. Then we can say that this polynomial is called quadratic expression. Quadratic expression. Example, 2x square minus 3ix plus 4. So this is a quadratic expression. Right? Where x square coefficient is how much? 2. So 2 is not equal to 0. Right? Now, in this uh, uh, x square coefficient is a and what is the x coefficient b and constant term, constant term, what is the constant term here, c. Here, a x square term, this is called quadratic term quadratic term that x square power is 2 so it is a quadratic term and bx term is called linear term linear term if the x power is 1 the term is called linear term and c is the constant term right now what is the zeros of quadratic expression quadratic expression zeros of quadratic expression right? let alpha is one complex number this alpha is said to be zero of the quadratic expression of zero of ax square plus bx plus this is a quadratic expression if we consider this alpha is set up as 0 if and only if a alpha square plus b alpha plus c this value should be equal to 0. This alpha is set up as 0 of the quadratic expression if a alpha square plus b alpha plus c that value will be equal to 0. Example we will consider x square minus 2x plus 1. This is the quadratic expression. For this quadratic expression, we will see what is the 0. What is the 0? Right. x equal to 1, I am considering. Substitute x equal to 1 in this. What will get it? 1 square minus 2 into 1 plus 1. That is 1 square 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 minus 2, 0. Therefore, we can say that 1 is a 0 of quadratic expression. And is a zero of quadratic expression, right? Quadratic expression means it is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c, where a term should be not equal to zero. Then we can say that a is the x square coefficient, b is x coefficient, c is constant term, where ax square term is called linear quadratic term, bx term is called linear term. One example I'm asking you. One example x plus 3 is it a quadratic term no why because of x square term is not there x square term is not there but the definition x square coefficient should be not equal to 0 this you can write as 0 into x square plus x plus 3 but x square coefficient is how much 0 but by the definition it should be not equal to 0 that is a quadratic expression now we will see what is a quadratic equation quadratic equation right any equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 then that equation is called quadratic equation example x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0 so this is a quadratic 
equation. Observe in this quadratic equation, x square coefficient is not equal to 0, right? Same as like quadratic expression, this quadratic equation also, x square coefficient should be not equal to 0. That is, a is not equal to 0. And a comma b comma c may be real or complex numbers. May be real or complex numbers. Right? Now, we'll see what is the root of quadratic equation. Root of quadratic equation. A complex number alpha is said to be root of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. A complex number alpha is said to be root of the quadratic equation if a alpha square plus b alpha plus c equal to 0. a alpha square plus b alpha plus c equal to 0. For quadratic equation 0 and for quadratic equation root. Okay. And we will see one example, x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0 is there. For this one, what is the root? Let x equal to 2, I am substituting. If you, if you substitute, it should be equal to 0. Substitute in this one, 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 4 equal to 0. 2 square 4 plus 4, 8, 8 minus 8, 0 equal to 0 satisfying, right? Therefore, 2 is called, 2 is a root of quadratic equation, x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0, right? So, that is uh, here, what is the explanation of 0 of quadratic expression, root of quadratic equation. Observe here, zeros and roots of quadratic equation of both are the same only. Both are the same only. 